Hello and welcome. This is Rufa Monger, my friends. In today's video, we're talking about the basics of mix-ups in the King of Fighters 15. This one is actually sort of by request, I suppose, uh, because I had someone ask me, how do you open someone up in this game without a command grab? And well, it's kind of easy. There's a lot of ways to do it, but the best thing about all this is there's the base way because basically every character is a mix-up character. Now, what do I mean by that exactly? Well, it's simply put, because everyone has the same universal tools to mix people up. Now, granted, certain characters are better at it than others, because they either have command grabs, or uh, a lot of options and overheads, or gimmicks, and this, that, and the other, but every character can do basic mix-ups, so mixing someone up isn't a character-specific trait. Everyone can do it. So let's talk first, before anything else, before the fancy stuff, just what a basic mix-up is in The King of Fighters 15. So here's probably the most common scenario you're going to find. You have the enemy here and you knock him down in the corner. And we're going to assume in this situation they tech roll. Uh, and then from there, since they're knocked down, there's nowhere else for them to run. This is where the basics of pressure begin. Okay, so I knock you down, quick hop, and I jump and attack. This is basically layer one. This is an overhead, so they have to block it standing. And if you don't block it standing, like you are now potentially in for a big world of hurt because it's combo city, right? You're going to get comboed out. So the short hop is basically the building block. This is where it all starts because you are basically attacking them as they're waking up. So for the most part, that means they cannot hit buttons unless it's invincible. If they have invincible reversal, that can definitely help. But then again, honestly, a lot of times when you're doing this, this becomes an automatic save jump in that you can hit them as they're waking up, and if they do an Invincible Reversal, you still have time to block. So once again, that's building block number one. When they are knocked down in the corner, just short hop and then attack. Simple as that. Now layer two is, well, a mix-up in and of itself. Once you have them expecting the hop and the attack, just do an empty hop and immediately go low. Like this is a staple mix-up in a lot of fighting games, and everyone can do this in the King of Fighters because everyone has access to the short hop as a tool. So once again, I knock you down, right? And either you're gonna get hit very deep by this guy here, or I'm doing nothing and immediately going low. So technically, you could block both, but it has to be almost frame perfect, and realistically, that's not gonna happen. So that's an instant high-low mix-up. So to add another layer here, once again, we have hop and attacking you on your wake up here, that's overhead. We have hop, do not attack, and immediately go low. And also, we can say screw it, both options, and we're gonna hop, do nothing, and then throw you. Now, King of Fighters has a little bit of what we call throw protection. So if you try to do the throw too early, uh, instead of the throw, you'll get uh, your attacks. But then again, that's not the worst thing in the world either, right? So now while they're worrying about overheads and lows, they're just trying to defend themselves, right? At which point they're not taking throws and then you knock them down and the process repeats because throws are hard knockdowns in this game. So literally, that's it. That's as basic as basic gets. And you can still add another layer if you want. So once again, hop, overhead, hop, empty hop, low, and hop, empty hop, throw. We have this, and then you can do hop, empty hop, and then hop again. Or hop, attack, and then hop again anyways, right? Like, uh, you have a lot of options. So I can go hop, attack, hop, attack, and then like go forward throw or whatever. It's basically impossible to defend forever in the King of Fighters. The, Offensive options on the base level before you get into the character specific stuff is incredibly strong. And what about the people who just roll out at everything, right? Those guys are annoying and uh, you can easily stop that as part of your basic structure. So when you get your knockdown here and you're just going for your initial pressure here, oh, I missed, right? So, cause they rolled through it. Cause rolls are invincible on frame one, two strikes. But say for the combo I'm going for, if I was going for just like hop overhead, right? I was going for, for something like that, right? The thing is, when you're doing your close heavy normal, you can hold forward or back after the hits, right? It doesn't really affect how the move works in and of itself, but it does change if they roll. So right there, I missed my attack, they rolled, and when I landed, because I was holding one of the two directions, uh, they're rolling, so I threw them. Rolls can protect you all day long against strikes, but they cannot protect you against throws. So that's one thing. Also another, say I was going for the uh, hop attack into the low, right? So I'm not hitting a close normal, so I don't get a throw attempt. Yep, 
You can see right there, what happened is they rolled, and I totally whiffed my move, sure, uh, but my second move came out and the end of a roll is punishable. So I hit them and immediately canceled that low, my quick uh, attack here, into my command normal, and I got them anyway. So either way, rolls in the corner is not the safest thing. Okay, and if you want to get really into the weeds here, like uh, specifically anti-roll stuff, um, whatever button you have here bound to blowback, when you're trying to do combos that involve like something like this, where it's like crouch light kick, stand light punch, right? If you hit stand light punch and blowback at the same time, you just get the blowback. You can see here in my inputs here, so I'm hitting light punch and my blowback macro at the same time. And if I hit all of them at the same time, I just get the blowback. It auto prioritizes the blowback attack. So say I want to do this combo here, where I just go crouch light, uh, standing close light, command normal, and like into whatever special, doesn't really matter, right? So I can do that, but when I do my standing light, I hit my stand light and my blowback macro at the same time. If the combo's okay, I just get the combo part. I get my close stand light punch. The blowback does not come out, right? So that's handy. That's good. But if it were for whatever reason were to whiff, like say if they're trying to roll out of stuff. I instead get the blowback attack. It hit exactly nothing the first hit, so it's not going to chain into the close stand light. And since it's not chaining anything, then I just get the blowback attack instead. There you go. Now, this is a much more advanced concept. If you're just starting, don't worry about that. But it's just another layer to show you how much you can crush someone in the corner and how little options they have to actually escape. Other than spending meter on like evasion rolls or doing their own uh, guard cancels to knock you away. So that costs meter, right? But yeah, you got a lot of options. So you can actually easily mix people to death. And it's mostly thanks to the short hop because short hop is very strong. Like uh, in comparison to Dragon Ball Fighters, people got to spend like three meters for an offense like this in the corner, right? This, you can just do it whenever with anybody. And of course, there's character specifics. When you look at the roster of this game, legitimately almost half the cast has command grabs. So command grabs are mixed in and of themselves. Sometimes like for Kyo, it's an EX only option, but still it is an option nevertheless, right? Uh, so look at what your character has for options. There's command grabs galore. Lots of characters also have overheads. And overheads in and of themselves aren't too special because, you know, it's just like, oh, I got clonked, whatever, no big deal, right? But keep this in mind. Pretty much every overhead in and of itself is super cancelable. So if you get clonked by that overhead, you are potentially eating a lot of damage, right? That's not nothing. And they are also all max cancelable. So you can just go into max mode combos directly on the spot. So if for whatever reason someone's a god and blocking every possible permutation of hop, strike throw, all that kind of stuff, then at the very least you can just bust out an overhead go max and just go to town on combos. And there are characters, you know, don't have a regular overhead. They don't have a command grab, you know, like Maya's an example, right? How on earth can she win? Well, outside the corner too, there's a lot of characters that have very strong cross-ups. Like, you know, especially against someone like Mai, you want to block low. Mai has a lot of very strong low options. And while you're blocking low, she has one of the most generous cross-ups in the game against Crouchers. Her hopping B, that's light kick. And it just crushes people who hop. And your ability to block it, your action time's gotta be pretty on the ball. And also she can make it very ambiguous if it's gonna be hitting left or right. So yeah, if you get crossed up, you could potentially lose a character, right? So there's a lot of options, cross-ups, overheads, command grabs. There's tons of things you can do besides just the base mix. And the base mix is already one of the best mix-ups in the game and everybody can do it. So yeah, I hope that gives you a decent idea of mix-up potential in the King of Fighters. Everyone can do it. Uh, it's universal because short hop is an amazing mechanic in this game. And of course there's the character specific stuff. So it's all about fighting around in neutral and trying to get that knockdown and this kind of going from there. So that all said, I guess that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some King of Fighters.